Okay, well starting a fitness program is one of the best things you can do for your physical as well as for your mental health. But keeping up with a fitness program without getting bored or burned out can be more challenging than the workout itself. That's for sure. So whether you're just getting started or you just need to get out of that fitness rut that we all get into, you're actually in the right place because today we are kicking off a seven week fitness program, Shape Up in Style, and we are so pleased to introduce you to our very own personal trainer here at New Mexico Style, and now yours, Karin Van Olst. Oh. Did good I say it right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Karn, what an amazing example you are of what oh, we all strive to you. be. And yeah. to let everybody know, Karn trains at the Santa Fe Spa in Santa Fe. And we want to ask you, how long have you actually been a personal trainer? Uh, I've been a personal trainer and fitness instructor for 26 years. Wow. wow. 26 so years? So that means I've been doing it for five years. I was just going to say, so it's been a few years. Yeah, a few you, years. Yeah, 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 just a few. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. That's so cool. Now, yeah. what is the first step to beginning a fitness routine? Um, I think the first step really is to see a physician and get clearance mm -hmm. so that you have no contraindications to work out mm -hmm. and uh, muscular injuries that you might not be aware of. And then um, the next step would be to set realistic goals. Like I think not, that's a great tip. Not to jump too far too fast without, you know, getting burned out and yeah. And I like the fact that we're doing it in the middle of the year. You know, we talk about yeah. it a lot in, in January, you know, resolutions, but there's right really no in. right or wrong time, right? Right. Any yeah. time Any is, time a, good is time. a good time. And that's the thing I love. And I think what happens is when we start the new year with these resolutions that we want to get in shape, a lot of people burn out. So how do you mm -hmm. stay motivated and keep it going? Well, I think a good thing to do is uh, to, first of all, maybe buddy up with somebody mm -hmm. and go together and take it in all kinds of different settings. You can go to the gym. You can go outside, you can um, take all kinds of modalities. There's Zumba, there's yoga, there's aerobics. Not hot yoga, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not hot yoga, yeah. I love yoga, okay? Oh, no, actually, it's, just the it's heat. nice. It's, yeah, nice. Some, it's for some people. For some people. <laughs> yes. everybody, everybody has privileges. But, you exactly. know, biking, hiking, it doesn't sure. have to be in the gym. Mm -hmm. You can do it at home even if you have children and you need to take your couch as your workout tool you can do it. See and that's what I was going to ask you about because a lot of it I mean everyone has a hectic life sure. so you know we can't always get to the gym. Right. What's a real a realistic workout schedule that we can actually stick to? Exactly. Um, I think it depends. On, the other day I spoke to somebody who has to be on the train by 7 a.m. and comes home by 7 p.m. Wow. And she asked me how do I do it. Mm -hmm. So what I said to her is pack your lunch mm -hmm. and go for the lunch hour a good walk. A That's a walk. good idea. Mm -hmm. Very and, good idea. And uh, when you come home, before you get home, and when after you come home, do sit-ups while you're watching TV or your leg lifts. I'll show sure. you some today. Okay. Well, today we're actually work working glutes. our glutes, right? Yes. The right. gluteus big, maximus. Yes, a big trouble spot for a lot of women. <laughs> Absolutely. That's and we right. actually got some really good video of you working out oh, in great. Santa Fe, at the Santa Fe Spa. So let's look at some of these exercises because I think the key is to look at it and explain to people how it's done and great. what it is. That one really accentuates just the gluteus Maximus. Okay. And you can stick a weight in there to make it a little bit harder. Okay. And that one you can do at home, of course. Right. Mm. Right in front of your couch. And would you say weight is better if you're trying to build the muscle versus if yes. you just want to burn some fat? Absolutely. Okay. If you're starting, if you're starting out, I would say lesser weight. But once you get stronger, you want to add some weight. And okay. Ooh. Ooh, that no, looks hard. That's that looks hard. and Maximus that and Minimus. Oh, that's but that burns. So that looks kind of advanced, too. How can you modify something like oh, that you could for do it. Beginner? You could do it on your elbows and knees. You can do one leg at a time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you can, say, do it over the couch, leaning forward, you know, supporting yourself, and oh just do one goodness. leg at a time. But and that's, that's stability. Oh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, so that's working more than just your legs. Looks oh, yeah, like sure. you have some weight that's on your arms absolutely. and your core. Yeah. Exactly. Core, a lot of yeah. core work in all of this, really. Even to just stand there like that, you can see you have to engage your core muscles. That's to exactly not fall over. It. You have wow. to use so many muscles. Even though your focus is on the glutes, mm -hmm. you're really using so many and muscles. Now these are step ups, step right? Step ups, very simple. And again, you could do them on your couch, uh, chair at home. Mm -hmm. You can use a bench if you don't have a, a appropriate step. You know what? I've used the bench. I've walked around uptown sometimes, and I'll but while I'm walking around, I'll step up on the benches while I'm walking in between. <laughs> and, hey, I and feel when like you, I'm doing something. You know, when you go to a um, stadium, they have these. You know, they have like you can take two steps at a time thing. Oh. So you can apply it to anywhere. You don't actually need to go to the gym. And I guess to make that happen. based on your own abilities, it will determine how high or how low you should go on exactly. the bench, right? If you now, are some, these squats? These are plies. So oh, they're a variation yes. of a squat. Oh. 
And this Kettlebell. is um, exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh! So you did this all in one workout? Yeah. <laughs> oh my so god! That was a good burn. Does it take all of that to get our rear ends to look like yours? Because um, we it all takes want one of those. Like <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sorry, I want that. You know, yeah. I think I think it takes a commitment. I think it's a lifestyle that you mm -hmm. that if you want if you decide you want to work out, you have to stick with it. Yeah. Stick with it's it. not you do it for one week and then the next week you're gonna take a week off. Right. I am so bad. About I that. am so bad. <laughs> well, let me ask you this because this is a question I know a lot of people have, including myself. How many reps, how many sets are necessary to achieve results and for who is better? You know what I mean? Is it better to do higher rep if you're thinner, fatter, what? Well, I think if you're a very beginner, you should start off with one set of 12 to 15 reps with light weights, if any weights at all. Okay. And then you increase by about 5% every day. Really? So then you get to that point where you can do three sets of 15 easily, then you may want to increase the weight more mm -hmm. and do only shorter sets to increase bulk. Oh okay. my gosh, now is that a so deadlift you're doing That's a right deadlift. There? Now, Oof. if you have a back injury, you want to be careful with that one. Okay. So always, like I said, make sure you see a doctor first, and that's a modification of a deadlift. And just going back to the thing that you said for bulk, so if you're toning and you want to burn calories and you do like the higher rep, lower mm -hmm. weight, but then if you really want to build that muscle, that's when you up the weight. That's right. And then you can lower the reps yeah. a little bit. Okay. But you got to get strong first. You don't want to yes. like just slam the weights on and no. then get right. injured. So it's good to start really lighter with more reps, get more strong. Reps. Okay. And really enjoy it and tell yourself constantly that you can do it. Yes. If, and even if no. you don't have an access, access to a gym, some of these look easy enough to do at home, which is exactly. perfect. Yes. Now these, of course, are on machines. So now we saw a lot of the do-it-yourself at home things. Mm -hmm. Now we're looking at something, and I think I was saying it to you before, a lot of people are very intimidated when they walk into a gym by the machines, and you can show people the right way to use the yes, machine. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So now what is this we're watching right That's now? That's a hex squat mas machine, and it works the, the Maximus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Going to minimize the maximus, right? right. And, the and the quads, it looks like. And that's too, a right? single leg press, which really accentuates the, um, the gluteus maximus again, medius, mm -hmm. and um, quadriceps. Wow. That's a very painful one, and you definitely want to start slow. <laughs> and you did this after the other 90 and exercises. Exactly. And you want to make sure when you do this one that you press through your uh, heels when you come back out. Wow, that is not easy. Now, really quickly, let me ask you this. We saw, obviously, a lot of exercises. Right. Mm -hmm. How many would you recommend a day that somebody actually does to achieve these results? Just for your glutes. Mm -hmm. um, if, you, if you work out, say, five days a week and you want to do a full workout, uh, or just, say, just but two or three times a week, you want to do about six to seven exercises. Six to seven. Wow. Okay, Kristen. We're going to be I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> we we got to be each other's partners on this one. Yeah. Now, are you ready to feel the burn? Well, when we come back, Kristen and I are working it with Karin. Oh, you'll want to watch this. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Well, we are back in our New Mexico style studio and we are here with personal trainer Karen Von Olst, who is going to help us minimize our mm -hmm. maximus. And I emphasize that we're here in the studio because this is the point. You can do everything we're doing today right from your very own home, right, Karen? That's right. While you're watching TV. So, yeah, that, help. that helps a little bit. I think I'll start with you. Is that okay, okay, sure. So we're gonna, I'm going to show her the quadruped. Okay. So okay. Uh, why don't you get on over it? Come okay. Into your like here. hands, be comfortable. And okay. Your hands, yeah. Up here. Now pick up your leg mm -hmm. to right there and bring it down again. So you're con contracting it from right here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I feel that in my booty. <laughs> Watch your neck. Make sure you're in a straight alignment with your neck. Right Don't here. arch your back. And then you can also bend your leg here. and go up from there. Mm -hmm. So bring it up and bring Ooh. it down. Ooh. 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 Here, right there. You can see right how there. that works, right? Oh, Fabulous. yeah. Can you feel some weight? And, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you can put Ooh, the weight I'm here. Oh, Chris so is you can killing me. <laughs> <laughs> that is really serious. So you can it. put a little weight right here to make right it a little here? bit harder oh, or okay. put tubing around your legs to oh, make it wow. more challenging. You guys, I feel this especially. I feel it in the back, too. So if right you here. did exactly your hamstrings. Yeah. So if you did one set of 20 for the first time you ever did this, mm -hmm. that would be a good start. Wow. And if you don't have the ball, could you do this Absolutely. flat on the ground? Yeah, oh, you yeah. want to show us that? Sure. So let's take this toy away. So now you would Come just... Come onto your hands. Here? Yeah, right there. Or let's hold on. Yeah, like right that. there. So watch. Make sure you don't arch your back. Oh. Good. And make sure your neck is in alignment. Okay. Yes. Good. And push straight up to the ceiling till the leg is parallel to the ground. Wow. I feel that. <laughs> I better do the other leg after this segment. That's right. <laughs> so try about 15 to 20 and see how that feels. Wow. It I is serious stuff. <laughs> and you don't want to go any lower like I wouldn't you want can, to go down? You can, absolutely. And Does you can even change? bring it into your chest more if you come onto your hands. Oh, so you can so actually you can, get more resistance. Yeah, all the way there. Like well, that. more range of motion anyhow. So bring it down into your chest. Make sure you keep that back Ooh. still. Wow. 
that would be a mule kick. Oh yeah, <laughs> feeling that, feeling that. Oh feeling my it? goodness. Good. Yeah. All right. Woo! Wow. I feel it all right. And I could do that right from watching TV. Yeah. That's right. I love that one. Okay, okay I gotta do the right like later. Okay. Let's see what Kristen's doing. So, yeah. I'm gonna get you on the bozu. Woo. Okay. That's this serious. is gonna in incorporate your core muscles. Both okay. feet on there. Hard. Both. Are both? Yeah. Oh, okay. Make sure you stand kind of like with your feet a little bit further apart so you're okay. not so wobbly. Okay. <laughs> and then you're going to squat down carefully. Yeah, right there. Ooh. And Whoa. bring it up. So you want to make sure your knees stay behind your toes. Okay. Whoa, I'm going to go you're backwards. you're pretending as if you're sitting down <laughs> on a chair that doesn't really exist. Okay. That's now if amazing. you find that really a little bit too challenging on, mm -hmm. on a balancing device, you can yeah. also do it on the floor. Ooh, I like this on the balancing thing. Now yeah. I can really feel the burn here. And you I can see all the, the balancing muscles okay. are You're engaging well. a lot of muscles it that way, huh? Exactly. Here. And then, if you wanted to, you could even add, say, a, a medicine ball uh -huh. right here to hang oh, on to. Oh, okay. Love and that. And you can bring your medicine ball in front like that and bring like it down to your shape. chest. So bring it down uh -huh. and then bring it down to your chest. Make sure you squeeze your glutes and can you buy at the end of that movement. At different places, is it easy to find these? You bet. Okay. Yeah. And, and the medicine stone. ball like that is yeah. great. So you're just going straight down? Straight out. So your arms go up, squeeze down as if you're going to sit down in a chair. Okay. And on the very end of that movement, uh -huh. you want to make sure you squeeze, squeeze. your glutes. Okay. Well, now there's a lot of moms that are probably already starting their day off, making dinner for later, getting yeah. ready in the kitchen. Thanks. And you can do exercises right from Absolutely. the kitchen counter, right? Yeah, let me show you. Okay. And maybe you want to do it with me? Sure. So you just hang on to the kitchen counter okay. and bring it diagonally behind you like that. Okay. All right. Or straight behind you like that. Now, what's the hmm. difference with the turn? Here, this is a medi the gluteus medius get activated as well, whereas this is more isolating the maximus. Okay, so okay. let's say, so if you just, so you're just going. Why don't you try it? Yeah, you'll feel straight. So diagonal mm -hmm. or straight? Do it too. Let's see. Oh yeah. So, so let me straight see. behind. Oh, I feel, and I feel a little. And make bit sure that you don't arch your back while you do okay. this exercise. Oh really? You don't want to arch your back. No arching okay. your back. You want to really make sure it comes from your glutes. Good tip. And yeah, then if you wanted to put this around your legs. <gasps> uh -huh. bands. So put it right above your knees. I'm going to work this leg now. And you can use Dyna bands. This is tubing, but anything like that above, above your knees. knees. Okay. Slightly. Sorry. Right here? Good. Yeah. Okay. Good. And then let's bring it diagonally back again Ooh. and see how that changes it. That definitely adds another element yeah. to it. <laughs> now, do you want your foot pointed? I'm pointing. Should relaxing, I be flexing? Relax your foot. Oh, okay. You can flex if anything, but I wouldn't point it. And you know, I can feel that over, over here. Yeah. I can feel it on both legs. Because you're stabilizing your body ah. on that side. So. We're going to have sore booties tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing is now everybody, when you do this at home, you can hear a card in your head saying to you, don't arch the back, engage the core. Exactly. And really and march focus. your neck. Okay. And watch your neck. That's the most thing is that you stay safe. That was good. We did well. That was fun. High five yeah. on that one, sister. Okay, okay. and next week we're actually going to be working the back, right, Carl? That's correct. Yes. Ooh. So you don't want to miss this. Great tips, and of course you can catch more of this segment on our website at casa.com. Now, if you're working up an appetite by watching us work out, Chef Jan Laird will be up next <laughs> with a very healthy meal, but still keeping you nice and energized. Okay. Great. I better uh, try a lot right more. Here.